June the 21st marks the International Day of Yoga, as was unanimously decided by the UN General Assembly in 2015. Prime Minister Narendra Modi referred to yoga as an invaluable gift of India's ancient tradition that helps us to discover a sense of oneness with ourselves, the world and nature. It's great seeing people around the world getting together to do sun salutations and downward dog on a single day. But regular sessions are needed to maximize yoga's benefits for body and mind. We'll be taking a look at venues where you can practice your asanas in South Africa this winter. And this week we visit the Durban Yoga Shala. With a hillside location overlooking the city, the Yoga Shala offers a tranquil setting for re-energizing the body and mind, as Michelle was about to discover. For me personally, I love hibernating in the winter months, but it's actually the ideal time to rejuvenate the body, mind and soul. I'm visiting the Durban Yoga Shala in the trendy suburb of Musgrave to find out why. Michelle was looking forward to meeting two of the teachers at the Shala. Hello ladies! Hi Michelle. Michelle, hi. I already feel so much more relaxed just being in this beautiful space. This is a beautiful space. Prasha, what was the intention behind establishing the Shala? The Durban Yoga Shala was built on a foundation of deep love and respect for the ancient tradition of yoga. How is combining yoga with the principles of Ayurveda beneficial? Ayurveda teaches us proper dietary routines and recommendations to enhance your yoga practice and the same in reverse. We cannot practice a proper yoga routine without having proper dietary recommendations and the health of the body. Nalini, you'll be making something special for us today. I will be, Michelle. Come through and we'll get started. Like yoga, Ayurveda sets out to achieve and maintain an inner balance without any single aspect or element dominating the others. Michelle, I'm going to demonstrate the perfect meal for a winter season. We're going to start with our besan soji. We're going to start off by putting in two or three tablespoons of ghee. Once the ghee is heated up, we're going to put in our chickpea flour. So we've got about a cup of this in here. We stir this continuously. It will take about maybe eight to 10 minutes on just low heat. We need to get it to a lovely brown color and you'll actually smell that nuttiness coming out from the chickpea flour. Ayurveda prizes simple foods and simple flavors. So the more simple your foods, the better it is for the digestive system. Once it's browned, we'll actually pour in our almond milk and we continue stirring and you can see that the milk gets absorbed into the soji quite quickly. We can put in our palm sugar or the jaggery. We continue stirring again until the jaggery is mixed in well. And this again takes a minute or two. We can now put in our spices, the cardamom, and we can then put in a sprinkling of nuts. Just crushing them lightly in your hands. Give it a good mix. So we're going to serve our besan soji. Lastly, we garnish again with some toasted almonds on the top and some beautiful rose petals to pacify the senses in its sweetness. So Michelle, here we have our nutritious and nourishing besan soji for the cold winter months. And it is said in Ayurveda that when diet is wrong, medicine is of no use. But when diet is correct, medicine is of no need. Oh, that is so beautiful. You're more than welcome, Michelle. I can feel the warmth, that beautiful nutty flavor coming through. Michelle, it was a pleasure sharing this knowledge of Ayurveda with you. I'm going to head back to Prussia. Michelle was joining the students at Prussia's evening class and he felt a little out of practice. You'll begin class this, this evening with three ohms. You can bring your hands to your heart. Take a moment to connect with your breath. Take a deep breath in. Oh. You can come over onto your hands and knees. Step in with your right foot. Between your hands, left knee down to the mat, both arms overhead. Lower as you exhale. Bring your legs out in front of you. Sitting in a staff pose, Dandasana. And inhale. As you exhale, fold forward, taking hold of your big toes. Take your left foot to the outside of the right hip. Raise the right hand up to the ceiling. Take hold of the calf muscle. Lift your leg up high into your shoulder. Point the toes. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. 
Prasha, you really put me through my paces. You did really well, Michelle. I definitely could feel the difference. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Oh, and to you both, thank you so much. I really enjoyed spending the day with you. It was an absolute pleasure to have you, Michelle, at our beautiful Durban Yoga Shala. Thank you. The practice of yoga and Ayurveda offers a complete system of well-being for body, mind and soul. It's the ideal way to beat the winter blues.